Controversy surrounds dismissals in Chernarus Coastal Operations Group amid Kosovo atrocity fallout. In a surprising turn of events, Captain 1st rank Venoy Kononov and Captain 2nd rank Vladislav Kravchuk have been dismissed from their positions within the Chernarus Coastal Operations Group, CHCOG, strategic formation. The developments, which unfolded late Thursday, were prompted by the aftermath of the Kosovo atrocity incident that occurred just days earlier. According to reports from Elektrozovosk Novosti News Daily, a Chernarus naval infantry unit was allegedly present in the vicinity when two Serbian prisoners of war were executed, reportedly by a Kosovo corporal, Hajim Hajia. Despite an immediate court-martial, Hajia was acquitted of all charges by a Kosovo military tribunal, leading to a cascade of consequences. Hajia was subsequently stripped of rank, awards, military pay, and pensions before being separated from the Kosovo army. In response, the Kosovo government imposed economic sanctions on several Chernarus companies and individuals, affecting the transport and purchase of coal from Kosovo for a period of five years. The Green Sea Shipping and Cartage Enterprise emerged as the most impacted, with coal transportation constituting a significant portion of its business. Sources within the Chernarus Foreign Ministry revealed that demands were made to the Chernarus President's Office to dismiss Admiral Alexander Petrov, the commander of CHCOG. However, contrary to expectations, Petrov's chief of staff and the head of a legal department, Kravchuk, were dismissed instead. The decision left both the command staff and the legal staff in a state of surprise, and they are yet to issue a public statement regarding the dismissals. The Chernarus government's reaction to the Kosovo incident has been deemed unfair by the CHCOG command staff. Sources suggest that efforts will be made to reinstate the dismissed officers, Captain Kononov and Captain Kravchuk. Outside observers argue that a comprehensive overhaul within the CHCOG has been overdue, citing senior Lieutenant Boris Badanov, a naval officer closely associated with the incident, who has repeatedly violated international and Chernarus law without facing consequences. Badanov, notably silent on both the atrocity incident and the subsequent backlash, has raised concerns about accountability within the naval ranks. Critics argue that the Shkog's internal issues have been exacerbated by its failure to address misconduct promptly. As the controversy unfolds, questions linger about the future direction of CHCOG and the broader implications of the Kosovo atrocity incident on Chernarus Kosovo relations. The naval dismissals have cast a shadow over the strategic formation, prompting calls for transparency and accountability within the military ranks. The Chernarus government faces mounting pressure to address the concerns raised by both internal and external sources. This is a fictional account based on the wargame Armour 3.